Okie dokie. So this video was going to be part of the quick quiz lesson. It's still sort of an extension of it, but I figured it'd make a good video on its own. So here we go. So in this problem, they give us three statements and they're asking which of the following are true. So instead of just going through one example, let's look at a bunch of statements and identify whether they're true or false. That way you can reference just about every type of statement you will see. Starting with the first statement, relative extrema can occur at any point of a graph, even the endpoints. That is a false statement because we said earlier that only the absolute extrema, absolute maxes and absolute mins, can occur at the endpoints, but not relative extrema. The next one, not all functions have relative extrema. This is a true statement. Earlier, we mentioned that for a relative max, the function needs to change from increasing to decreasing. For a relative min, the function needs to change from decreasing to increasing. And so let's say we have a function that's increasing the entire time from left to right. If this function is just increasing, then there will never be a change from increasing to decreasing or vice versa. Therefore, this function does not have any relative extrema. The next one, if we sketch the graph of e to the x, on its entire domain, it has no relative maximum or minimum points. So the function e to the x looks something like this. It's basically just starting low and increasing the entire time. In other words, because it's increasing the entire time, it is also a function that does not change from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. Therefore, it has no relative max, nor does it have a relative minimum. It has no relative extrema. So this statement is true. The next statement, they claim that e to the x has a relative max, but no relative min. But we just said that it has no relative max or min. So this is false. The next statement says an absolute max is also a relative max. So if we consider a function like this, its absolute max is right here at the top. But this absolute max is also a relative max because the function changes from increasing to decreasing. And so here's an example where it's true, but if we consider a function segment like this, the absolute maximum is right here at this endpoint. But we know that relative maximums cannot occur at endpoints. They cannot occur at endpoints because we can't have increasing to decreasing if there's no function on the left side. If it just cuts off at that endpoint, then there can be no change from increasing to decreasing. And so this is an absolute max, but it is not a relative max. Therefore, this statement is false because it's sometimes true, but not always. And really, the same idea applies to the next statement. An absolute min is also a relative min. On this graph, here is the absolute min, but it is not a relative min because there's no change from decreasing to increasing. So this statement is also false. The next one says the graph of a function changes from falling to rising at a relative max point. So if we think about falling to rising, this looks a little bit more like a minimum. Falling to rising is another way to describe decreasing to increasing. So this is a relative minimum rather than a relative max. So this statement is false. And so for different examples you might see, if they mention a change from rising to falling, that is a max. And if they describe the change from falling to rising, that's a minimum. And so if we consider these last two statements, they are both talking about the same function, x minus 1 squared. One says that it has a relative min, and one says it has no relative min. If we think about this function, x minus 1 squared is basically just the function x squared shifted to the right by 1. And so if we think about this graph, at x equals 1, we have the vertex of this x squared function. In other words, just a parabola opening up. And this parabola that's opening up does have a relative minimum. This relative minimum is also an absolute minimum, but more importantly for this case, it is a relative minimum. So this statement is true, while this one is false. And here's all the statements.